18 bucks for a fucking Uber. I should probably fucking buy a bike or something. At least I'll get a workout in the morning if I buy a fucking bike. Let me go ask the manager to come back. Okay. <laughs> I did this uh, piece of art the other day. You can see it off the bus. It's not too bad. Not too bad. You can see it from the bus. So let's continue reading the chapter on death ground fight. I mean, the nine kinds of ground. So we're continuing on chapter 11, the art of war. The nine kinds of ground. On death ground, fight. Jialin Giles, fight with all your might and you may live. Cling to your corner and you will die. The skillful warrior of old could prevent the enemy's vanguard from linking with, linking with his rear. Delicious. Waiting for my Uber. I didn't get much sleep last night again. I'm gonna get a Tesla Uber today. But I didn't get much sleep. I was falling asleep and then I hear yelling. My mom's yelling about me leaving the lint in the dryer. You know, the little where the lint gets caught in the dryer. I, and there was no lint. What's up, boss? I think it was just because she, uh, every I'm not going to get too personal with her, but she has a job. She uh, gets paid to take care of some old people that live near us. Her life decisions, she starts attacking me. And I was falling asleep, man. And all of a sudden, I hear her, her ugly voice. The one that when she's yelling, the, the only voice she knows. And uh, she just ruined my night, man. I was tossing and turning the whole night. I literally didn't get no sleep. And um, she just ruined it, man. I would just... I was, I, and then in turn, I turned bitter, you know? It's a fucking domino effect. I became bitter and I started fucking thinking about the world and how phony it is and all these phony podcasts and how this this society only lets the white man thrive, you know? Anyway, I could get deep deeper into it later, but it was just weird. She starts attacking because, because of her having to get up and whatever she has to do, you know, being a nurse, having a fucking, you know change diapers of old people and whatever you know that's not that's not my issue and i started thinking man if i was the ruler of the earth all these parents who who ruin their child's life because of their bitterness and, and and these people who affect people's lives in a negative way like man these people should be killed man these people you know these parents do if they started killing a couple of these fucking parents who abuse their kids and they start doing it in a public in a public setting and showing society, hey, you want to be fucking over your kids? Look it, this is what we're going to do to you. We're going to fucking behead your ass. We're going to fucking kill you and hang you and stone you. You know, true capital punishment. I think some of these fucking parents would wise the fuck up, man. And stop ruining people's lives, you know. I just started thinking about that. Anyway, I got to go. My Uber's almost here. And, um, yeah, so... I just, I'm not saying my mom personally, but fuck, man. I'm sure this... She fucking ruins my life with her whole fucked up attitude, not being able to r really understand who I was and what kind of fucked up shit I was going through, like in school and even in life, and never giving a fuck about what I was going through or never having the kindness or never having enough kindness inside of her to get to know her own kids, but always being bitter and putting that on them and ruining their lives. Or at least shortening the potential they could have had, you know, to have a better life, you know, a more nourished, fulfilled life. And... I was just thinking, man, I'm sure there's, there's obviously way more fucked up parents who don't even feed their kids, who give them drugs or fucking starve them and even kill them, you know? And, and, what, and, and I'm sure there's fucking kids who end up killing their own fucking parents for fucking being such shitty parents and always on their fucking back. And what do they do? They put these kids in prison or in crazy hospitals. That doesn't do shit. They just sweep shit under the rug, you know? And I was thinking about all this, like, to... I was like acting as if I was making a video, you know, but I was tossing and turning, rolling in my bed when I really want to just, just speak and talk about what I feel about the, the world and my opinions and if I was the ruler, you know. Anyway, I'm going to have a good day at work. I know. I like being around people. Yesterday was a really good day, but I got to go. I think my Uber might be here. Another $15 for a fucking Uber. 
fuck. One more hour. I haven't had much sleep, like I said. I feel good at work. It's been a good day so far. Good encounters. I like to operate like this, but I don't know. I haven't went running in two days. I'm going to finish the book, Art of War, today, and I can't wait just to start something new. You are one ugly motherfucker. You are one ugly motherfucker. I'm lonely, man. I wish I had me a female. Is that not a good sign or what? The hawk just flew over me. It probably smells the food in my backpack. The rotisserie chicken. I'm trying to act like it's a good omen. Last time, I'm not gonna come look for Marlene anymore. I, you know, I pass by the Target to go to the bus stop. I say, you know what? Don't give up, you know. So I walked around again, but that's the last time. If I run into her at the bus stop, I run into her, you know. If I ever go back into the Target again because I need to get something, then I'll see her, you know. I'm not gonna. I'm already second guessing myself. There was a mirror in the Target and I walked by the mirror and I looked at myself and I didn't feel good about myself. I'm like, maybe you don't look how you think you look. Maybe you don't, maybe because you think highly of yourself, like you're handsome or you're good looking. You know how mirrors are. One second you look and you feel certain and the next moment you look and you don't feel so certain. So last time I go in there to look for her, it's okay. Maybe one day she has to go into the plumbing section at Home Depot. Also got a raise. It doesn't matter because at one point in my life I was making about 50 bucks an hour. But it was cool the way um, the main, main manager, I guess she's like the main boss of Home Depot. She's like the queen of Home Depot. She's like a young white girl, a white woman. She's probably about like 35. She could even be around my age. She's very big. She's very, I mean, like tall. And she's thick too. Like she could have played volleyball, you know? She doesn't work out anymore. So she's kind of on the, she's not obese, but she's also not, her body's not tight, you know? And, but she makes a joke that she says I'm shy. She's like, how come you never try to talk to me? Everybody else seems to always want to talk to me, but you don't. She's attractive, you know? But anyway, I was like trying to be Rico Suave and um, well, actually I had a, I, I was walking around my, you know, department and I found, you know, sometimes you find different, different tools or different parts that go to different departments and I had a tape measure and so I see her like the main queen of Home Depot, which she's probably educating, you know, of course, and She's like being really kind to the lady in hardware. And so anyway, I was like, okay, cool. Like I had to go turn the, you know, whatever part I found in the different, I'm tired right now. So I'm fucking speaking stupid. But whatever part I found in my department, I took and I, and I seen that, that beautiful queen of Home Depot and, and they gave each other a hug. And so, like, I don't know, I was going to be funny. Like, can I get one of those hugs? Like, something tells me it's okay to hug. Like, it's okay to give hugs, you know? I actually hugged one of my coworkers today. She was down for it. An older woman, you know? An, an older woman. But, but as I sit sometimes, like, on my bed pondering, just, like, I even imagine myself with a woman sometimes. Like, it's like mental stimulation, you know? without actually happening, kind of virtual, but in my own mind. And I imagine myself hugging. And it, it actually feels really good. It's like, there's some sort of arousal to it. What's up, boss? It's actually pretty hot right now. But anyway, there, there's like a hugging. It's like a very, I don't know, I kind of want to hug more. I'm actually... It just crosses my mind. I don't always think about hugging when I see certain women. And, I don't know, certain women are stuck up. Just because you want to hug them, they think you're a fucking creep. Because they're stupid as fuck. And they have their head up their ass. But, um... 
Anyway, long story short, when I when she see me, she's like, hey, I got good news for you. And I was wondering what it was. And the lady that works in the hardware that she had just finished talking to, she's like, oh, they're gonna switch your department. And at first I was like, oh, to where? Like, I don't wanna learn nothing else. Like, I mean, I don't care to learn, but I don't wanna switch a department. But I guess um, they had extra money like in the budget and they gave me a raise, so that was cool. But I, I don't really give a fuck about money. Anyway, all these fucking people. They're all fucking lame, scared to chase their dream. Most of these fucking people. But, um, yeah, I got a sandwich in my backpack that I'm gonna hurry up and eat. Because I'm hungry. And I'll probably go for a run. This guy's been getting up with stickers a lot. Fucking. Chaos. These motherfuckers. I wonder who'd be going in there stealing stickers. I seen a guy there today with his with his uh, girlfriend, like in the sticker section. But they didn't seem like they would steal, but they did seem like they were into art, which is weird. And sometimes people just steal shit that they find to be, that's cheap, you know? Anyway. Yeah, she just told me I got a raise. And she's like, why are you nervous? You know, like, I'm not really nervous. I kept backing up. I said, you know, I'm insecure about my tooth and my bad breath. And she's like, you're fine. I don't smell nothing. Anyway, I seen her right now when I was leaving. I said, thank you. Peace. Feels good to get some sun. I couldn't go three days without going for a run, man. Even though I was tired. I'll be lucky if I got fucking two hours of sleep yesterday and three hours the day before and been on my feet all day. Ain't hey, no excuses, man. It is what it is. You can either be a hater or get motivated. So it's good to feel the sun on my skin. You know what I mean? And uh, got my day off tomorrow. I'm going to chill, man. I'm going to finish reading my book and I'm going to kick back and start my new book tomorrow. Anyway, uh, peace. Burpee day tomorrow. Peace.